So yeah, here's a little troublemaker that's been tearing up my roof every night. I'm sure there's better places God got intended for her to live than in my roof every night. So she's not welcome back anymore. She's evicted. So I set this dog pound, this dog proof trap up about 24 hours ago and already got her. I've been fighting this thing for three years trying to catch her. The trap in front of me, she keeps out smart it somehow. Everything, she just never gets caught by anything. So I finally, the dog, the dog proof trap, 100% kudos to this because it finally solved my problem. My, my shingles getting tore off <clears throat> during bad weather, rain, snow coming in my house. She just got it bad in my house. It's like shingles on the floor. Everything's on the floor. And she's up there beating up the cat and just tearing up everything. And I can see where it got her at. And it's like half her hand still stuck in here. And just that little half a hand is enough to keep her trapped here all day. This thing is amazing. And now I'm trying not to get rabies as I get her out of this. So like I said, y'all help me here and support me and wish me good luck with this thing here. How did you get all the way around like that? Jeez. Now, what did you do? I see what you did. Yeah, come around. I'm gonna figure this out now. Gosh. Right there, right there. Let it free. Want to bite down on this trap and not let it go. Oh, you just don't want to come. Let go of the trap. Let go of the cord. Jeez. No, you don't. Put your ass down. Let's see if we can get her in here. Jeez.
got her. Whew. My three year problem, y'all, has been solved. Sorry about that, y'all. My three year problem has finally been solved. There goes a the little trouble, make it right there. So now all I gotta do is figure out where I can take her and let her go. Like he's gonna really let that one go after causing three years of torture. <laughs> all right, y'all.